Morning Porter. Morning Station Master. Morning Tony. What have we got here? Looks like Mrs. Sims has slept on the trolley all night. Ah, uh, yes, we better wake her up very gently, Mr. Porter. Okay. Very gently. Mrs. Sims, Mrs. Sims, Mrs. Sims, it's time to wake up. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, oh. Where am I? Where am I? I am here on the trolley. At South Shield Station. Oh, you must have had a really good night then. Well, I think you did, Mrs. Sims. Well, is anybody going to help me up then? Ah, that's better. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. I'm off home now. Are you sure, Mrs. Sims, you're going to be all right? Yes, I'll be fine. Meanwhile, Mrs. Sims wasn't the only one that was waking up. The green menace had slept in the lamp hut all night. <laughs> what shall I get up to today? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm trying to catch a train to uh, Sashiels. Uh, which platform do I need to be on? Well, if you you need to be on platform one, which is just uh, across the way, and you're in luck. Uh, the train is about to leave in ten minutes. Ah, you sure? Very good. 
Tut to sweet. Ten minutes, you say, pal? Yep, ten minutes over a platform one. Ta much. Come on, Ben. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Ah, mon ami, can you point me in the direction of the station master? My name is Pyro. Oh, yeah, I no problem. It's the last office on the right. You can't miss it. Thank you, mon ami. Tickets, please, sir. I'm here also to see the station master. And the dog? He's with me. Oh, you didn't look, sir. There he is over there. That fellow's just about to see him as well. Ah, station master, I believe. Yes, that is correct. I am the station master, Mr. Brimmer. I am Hercule Pyro. I have been sent here by the Queen to help catch this thief you call the Green Menace. It's an honour to have the great French detective here. Tut tut, mon ami. I am from Belgium, and I'm very proud of it. Mr. Stationmaster, I believe the investigation may be here already, mon ami. Yes, he is, Pyro. I will get the porter to fetch him. I am very sorry for mistaking you for a Frenchman. Mon ami. It happens quite often. Here he is, station master. Thank you, Mr. Porter. Ah, station master Brimmer, and the f famous French detective Hercule Poirot. My name is Basil and Jimmy Bond, double over J27, licensed to thrill. Tut 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 tut. You English must understand. I'm not French. I'm from Belgium. Please forgive me, Hercule. No offence intended. Ah, mon ami, we're all here for one purpose, to catch the green menace. Not without me, you don't. I'm here for the reward. I have the best nose in the northwest. 
open. Woof. Ah, mon ami, you are Mr. Shelby. I also have heard about this reward, as the Queen has put the reward herself. The Green Mess is also wanted in London for the attempted theft of the Queen's jewels. He seems to like anything that sparkles, so I don't understand why he has taken a pair of ceremonial scissors. Ah, gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. I think he has taken the scissors for a bigger crime he's about to commit, mon ami. Oi, gentlemen says Peter the Ventress. He was last seen heading for the Riverside Bridge last night. But after that, there is no clues. Take me to this bridge, so my nose can pick up the scent. Come on, Ben. Hold on, Monsieur Selby. We must have a plan to catch this thief. And catch him in the act, mon amis. Priro is right. What is so valuable that he would risk getting caught for? Monsieur Station Master, what is so valuable here in the northeast? Ah, Priro. The northeast is full of golden treasures. St. Hilda's has a golden cross that dates back to the 16th century. And King Tut's golden tanker was left by the Vikings and is in the northeastern pub. It holds, believe it or not, two litres of beer, you know. Oh, and there's also Mrs. T's 24 carat golden spoon. But he would not dare try and take that. I know Mrs. T. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I think we should watch all of these places very carefully. And hopefully we can catch him in the act. I shall go and visit Mrs. T's. Toot, sweet. PC Ventress and I will take Ben and head for the bridge. I will stay around the station just in case he comes back here. Okay, we have a plan. Ah, mon ami, a taxi at hand. How lucky am I? You don't need a taxi, Priro. Mrs. T shop is over there, you know. Come on, PC Ventress, show me where this bridge is. Ben's got an itchy nose and he needs to get onto his trail. So this is where he was last seen, PC Ventress. That's right, Mr. Shelby. He had the scissors over his shoulder and he's running across the road. Hmm. I think Ben has picked up his scent. Now it's time to go after him. <laughs> it's getting too hot round here. It's time for me to make good my escape. Ha 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 ha. Quick, there he goes. He's on the back of that train. Let's make a dash for the station. We've got a few minutes. Go on, Ben. Get him. Oh, it's too late, Mr. Shelby. Not to worry. Ben will sniff him out. I will alert all the stations that the Green Menace is on the train. You do that, PC Ventress.
Aha, the northeastern pub. Time for me to get off. That was a bumpy landing. <clears throat> oh, yo, you're trespassing, you now. Get off the line. <laughs> I can smell the gold from here. Meanwhile, back at Social Station, Ben is trying to keep up with the train, but he's got no chance. The train is long gone. Ben, come back, boy! You better let the station master know that my dog's on the line. Right away, Mr. Shelby. Mr. Shelby, Mr. Shelby. Yeah, go ahead. We just had word that a man in a green suit has passed the Simon Side signal box. Oh yeah, whereabouts is that? Uh, it's not far away from the northeastern pub. Oh, so Hercule Poirot was right. He's heading for the northeastern pub. Right, I'd better get there before Ben does. Meanwhile at the northeastern, the green menace has just arrived, but not before hiding the scissors behind the barrels. Hiya mate, what will it be? I've heard so much about this golden tankard, and I'd like to have a drink from it. Why, <laughs> that only comes out on special occasions, you know, weddings, birthdays and things like that. Ah, hence why I have my best suit on. It is my birthday today, believe it or not. Well, I guess you're uh, kind of dressed up for the occasion, you know. Alright, I'll, I'll get it down, but it'll cost you. Well, buddy lad, here it is. Boy, oh boy, goody, goody, it's huge. Well, yeah, it's a big one, you know. The Vikings did like their beer. So, what would you like in it? I'll have a couple of pints of Newcastle Brown, please. Well, that's going to cost you two quid. So, hand over the money first. Okay. So he hands over the two quid and starts to drink and the crowd starts shouting down it, down it, down it and to the surprise of the crowd he downs it in one. Just then the police cars arrived. Mr Pike, the barman, rushes out. What's going on here, Constable? We're acting on good information that the Green Menace might be in the area. Oh yeah, what does he look like? Well, he's dressed in a green suit, blonde hair, and very menacing. Yeah, that's right, says Tom Shelby. Oh, I've just served a gentleman like that at the bar. He said it was his birthday. Barman, barman, that punter you served has just run off with your tanker. That's him. Let's get him. If only Ben was here, he could track him down. Woof, woof. <laughs> Look 
looks like I've got away with it. Time to leg it. I need to call it in, barman. Have you got a phone? Yes, it's behind the bar. And also, I need to take some witness statements. Come on, Ben. We need to catch him. Let's go. Woof. Meanwhile, the green menace is legging it with the scissors and the golden tanker. Meanwhile, back at the station, Basil and Bond heads off towards St. Hilda's Church. And Pyro visits Mrs. T's sweet shop. Good morning. What can I get for you, sir? Ah, uh, Mademoiselle. I have come to you sample some of your very famous rhubarb and custard oil sweets. Toot sweet. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, Madame, Madame, please don't me, Madame. Toot sweet. What can I do, Madame, Madame? Mrs. T comes round. Mr. Paro, what? Why are you here? You have a golden spoon, have you not? I do, but, but how do you know about it? Uh -huh, it's a very well-known secret, and there is a thief out there, and he wants to get his hands on it. Oh, does he? I will give him more right right across his bonds. Still, I cannot believe you're in my shop. Two sweets, madame. Madame, you have been most kind for letting me try your rhubarb and custards. I will take some away with me. Mmm, too sweet. You're very welcome, Pyro. I will wait here for the others. Others? What others? Oh, I'd better buy up some more of my uh, candy. What are you doing? You're trespassing, you know. Yeah, well, what are you doing with your hands up? I'm not armed and dangerous, just menacing. I can't help that. I was made like it. That figures. Can you point me the way to St. Hilda's Church? Don't be silly. You know I can't do that with my arms up like this, you know. It's up the embankment, past the terrace houses. You can't miss it. Hmm, he looks dodgy. Yes, I am dodgy. <laughs> Just before the Phantom Menace makes his way up the embankment, he leaves his ill-gotten loot on top of the linesman's hut, hoping that he'll pick it up later. Ooh. I think I've had too much beer. I must get out of this suit.
that beer is starting to have an effect on me. Here then, here then. It's okay, he won't bite. We're looking for someone in a green suit. Uh, uh, you, you've just missed him. He's, 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 he's just gone up the embankment. He's heading towards St Hilda's Church. I knew it. You can put your hands down now. Don't be silly. I was made like this, you know. At the vicarage, a green menace spots some washing hanging on the line. Ooh, looky here. That was my chance to disguise myself. <laughs> he has taken some clothes off the line. And now he's gone behind that bush to get changed. That's better. No one will recognize me now. Time to take the cross. Perfect time. The vicar is leaving. But little did he know that the cross was wired up to the church bells. I better get out of here quick. But I still managed to steal the cross. <laughs> the bells, the bells. I must silence the bells. At last, I silenced the bells. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown. Yes? Someone has taken some clothes from the washing line. Oh dear, I have a case to solve at last. Let's go and see if there's any prints on the lawn. Hmm, looks like he's taken my best suit. Hmm, he certainly came through here. Blimey, what's all that noise? Father Brown? Yes? I am um, Basil and Bond, Jimmy Bond. Double OJ27, license to thrill. I'm here to warn you that the Green Menace may want to steal your valuable golden cross. I think you're too late. He's already taken it. I have to check to see if the cross is missing. Would you mind moving your car off the pavement? Certainly, Father Brown. Oh no, as I have feared, the cross has gone. It has been at St Hilda's for hundreds of years. We must get it back. He has already taken King Tuck's tankard from the northeastern after downing two litres of Nookie Brown. Basil and Bond speaks up. After all the international crime lords I have taken down, I am chasing a drunken thief. Yep, that sums it up, and I'm only here for the reward, says Tom Shelby. Come on, Ben. Here, Ben. He won't get away for long. I know where he's heading next. Ah, Mrs. T's sweet shop. We'll have to set a trap for him. We can't let him get away with this. Thomas Shelby speaks up. I will meet you there. I will double back, just in case he's changed his plans. He 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 he. 
Still here, are you? You, you, know, you, 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 you know you're trespassing, don't you? Yeah, but catch me if you can. He 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 he. You get you, you, you come up and. S You do realise you're trespassing, don't you? Yes, I'm chasing someone. Has anybody been back through here? Yes, the guy that was in the green suit earlier, he came back through. And then, well, now he's in a grey suit. Yes, he th stole those off Father Brown's washing line. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, that's way my time. Right. Can't stay. Got to try and catch this phantom menace. Wait, you! Get off the blummin' line! Oh, Edith, I'm not sure we're going to get home tonight. What is going on? Monsieur Bond, you have to do something about your driving. Yes, you're right, I do. And you're also right about the Green Menace. He has taken the cross and also the tanker from the northeastern pub. And uh, he's probably heading here now. Tom Shelby is following him. Father Brown pipes up. It's a pleasure to meet you, Herku Pyro. Mon ami, the feeling is mutual. We have to now formulate a plan to try and catch this green menace once and for all. PC Ventress says, Yes, he's now in a grey suit. He stole it from Father Brown. Yes, that is right. He took it off my washing line. We have cordoned off the street. The only way up is through the 39 steps. And that is the only route you could possibly take coming from St Hilda's. Well done, Manimis. We now have a plan to trap him. We shall keep those steps free to make him think the way is clear. Perfect plan, monsieur. Perfect. Yeah. 
Sounds like a plan to me. I wonder how Mr. Shelby's getting on. <laughs> At last, the 39 steps. We're almost there. All I have to do now is just grab the spoon and I've got a hat trick of goodies. <laughs> That's a long climb. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, 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 oh! That has got to hurt. Where they first you don't succeed. Try, try again. <laughs> oh, I've got a headache. Just then. Ben and Mr. Shelby has just turned the corner. Hello, Tess. Can I have the usual, please? A portion of chips and some of those lovely butter bits. Oi, oi. I heard you had a great night out last night. You could say that. <laughs> Give me them chips. Oi, take that. <laughs> Moments later, Tom Shelby appeared at the van. Are you all right, madam? Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're Tom Shelby. Uh. Mrs. Sims had fainted. Don't worry, missus, we'll catch him. And as you can see, Ben has nearly got him. Go on, Ben, catch him. Ah, uh, Monsieur Green Menace, there is no escape. You might as well give up. That's right, matey. My name is Basildon Bond. Jimmy Bond. Double O J27. Licensed to thrill. There is no way out. Hey, that's right, you green menace. There's no way out. Let me at him! He stole my chips! Uh, madam, let the professionals hold. Get on with it. <laughs> I will sneak down the alleyway. But little did he know that PC Ventress was already down the alleyway. Planning on going somewhere? Take my golden spoon, will you? We'll take this. Thwack. Well, Green Menace, it's time for you to confess. I'm not going to tell you where the loot is. Maybe you'd like Ben to take down your particulars. Never! Ben? Monsieur, that is torture. You can't let the dog do this. Too sweet. Okay, okay, I confess. It's on top of the plate layer's hut. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. Ben? Okay, okay, call off your dog. It's the one next to the pub, before you get to the tunnels. Just then, another car pulls up. Okay, I'm Inspector Morse. I'll take it from here. 
Uh, you're too late. He's been arrested, said Tom Shelby. He's ours. Mon ami, you can't just arrive at the last moment to tame all the glory. He's already been arrested. He's ours. Yeah, says Basil and Bond. And yes, says Father Brown, with a funny accent. I've lost the plot. And hopefully that's the last we'll ever see of the Green Menace. I wonder who's driving that. Basil and Bond, probably? Ah, my enemies, it's been a great adventure locating and capturing the Green Menace. I shall report this to the Queen and let her know that all is well in the Northeast. Yes, and I will make sure that all the stolen items will go back to their rightful owners. As for you, PC Ventress, I will put in a good word and hopefully you will get some promotion for your help and assistance in this matter. Yeah, I'm going to take up some driving lessons and go after some real criminals. Me, I'm just happy I got my first case. And I am looking forward to getting my golden cross back for the church. I bid you all a farewell as I head back. Goodbye to you all, and thank you for watching. Hey Ethel, we've been waiting all day for a bus, and then three come at once. I never thought we were going to get home.